Here's what's coming up today on All Indiana. A popular drive-in movie theater in Indianapolis is reopening this weekend, offering a fun, safe option for families to get out of the house. I spoke with one of the owners today about safety measures they have in place and what people can expect. Plus, you can't find them on store shelves, so our Tara Hastings shows us how you can make disinfecting wipes at home. And after spending more than a month in the hospital, one coronavirus survivor is heading home. Why some are calling his recovery a miracle. Good afternoon, guys. It is Thursday, and I'm here. You might notice that I'm in the studio. <laughs> hey, Anessa, how you doing? It's great to see you, Randall. You're looking as good as ever. Oh, How's it thanks. going? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so kind. You're so kind. Well, I pray you're having a good time at home. You look, you look awesome, and I know little ones on the way. So, how are you feeling? Hey. I, you know, you guys can't often see the baby bump, but he's yeah. getting huge. He's very active. <laughs> I'm 27 weeks today, Randall. So oh, you know what? Celebrating. Goodness. Every week's about, I've got 13 left. Third trimester starts next week. So oh I'm, I'm rooting for baby boy. I'm excited. Congratulations on you and little man. He's, he's in there chilling. He's good. Yeah, he, oh, he's chilling. That's right. And he tells me what he wants to eat every day. Awesome. Um, I know we've, I'm so happy you're joining us today, mm -hmm. Randall. And it's great to be with you. First, I know this is something that means a lot to you and I. It's a national day of prayer. Yes. And it also kind of takes on a different meaning, I think, to all of us when we hit trial and uncertainty. Mm -hmm. Of course, this year it looks a lot different because right. people can't gather like they used to but everybody's encouraged to take that time if you're a person of faith mm -hmm. and spend it with your family praying at home so yeah. cool on the national calendar day list yeah that's one thing I definitely am so passionate about is just having a little meditation to yourself and being able to go in your prayer closet or wherever you pray and just have a moment so definitely recognizing this day so, okay, yeah. and, uh, on another note, yesterday a local hospital marked a milestone. Methodist released its 300th patient who recovered from coronavirus, and they marked that moment in a big way. Take a look. James Seeky left yesterday afternoon. The song, Here